The upcoming election has stalled out our market for the week. I'm Tony with Clarkson Santoro, and this is our real estate update for the week of Friday, November 1st. We know that selling or buying a home can be very stressful and confusing. That's why we do these weekly videos so you can know how the market is impacting your options as a homeowner or buyer. Um, let's take a look at how our market did this week. There are 36 active homes on the market, down one from last week with an average asking price about the same, 2265000 up from the 2250000 last week. Seven homes went pending, two more than last week. The average asking price of those pending sales did drop a little bit to 1825000 down from 1915000 last week. And four homes closed, three less than last week with a significantly lower average closing price of $1,795,000 million down from $2,080,000 last week. So that's how the market performed this week and next what we like to do is look at the broader trends and uh, indicators that help us know where the market, market might be heading. Before we do that, if you do find this information helpful, why don't you hit the subscribe button down below and share it with a friend. Everyone deserves to be in the know about their local real estate market. So let's look at those broader indicators. Inventory dropped a little again this week, not by much, only one home. Um, the trend remains that homes above the median price tend to sit on the market while homes below the median have a better chance of selling pretty quickly. The turnover rate is starting to react to the inventory level not increasing. It moved up from 57% to 67% of a normal market. While it isn't a vast improvement, it is nice to see this number moving in the right direction. If inventory falls off drastically, that turnover number could spike, even if pending sales don't improve dramatically. <clears throat> the over-under continues to support the idea that below median homes are selling rapidly and experiencing low level bidding wars. The average home closed for about 24,000 over the asking price this week. Not a significant over asking number, but that's only about, uh, that's only about 1.3%, but it still demonstrates that the homes that are selling are driving strong interest from multiple buyers and doing so quickly. The average closing price continues to hover around the $1.9 million range, which it has been doing for the past couple of weeks. It did drop just a little bit this week, but not a significant shift. We are slightly lower than the average sales from the same time last year, um, but it, again, not by very much. I think it's safe to assume that we'll hover around this 1.9 range till the end of the year. Uh, the Triple Q uh, fund did have, uh, didn't have any significant movement this week, but it did drop about a half a percent from last week. I think that we will not see any real growth in the fund for the next couple of weeks as we head into an election week uh, and wait to hear what the results of the election are in a week or two and how those results might affect the whole stock market. Unfortunately, the interest rates took another big step up again. They went up 18 basis points. Um, that's an increase of nearly three quarter of a percent from the end of last month when we were getting pretty low. The raising rates will definitely hold downward pressure on the market and I would be surprised to see them fall back down significantly before the holiday season. I think that the added tension of the election has really put a damper on a lot of aspects of life over the past few weeks. That has almost certainly contributed to the market slowing down more in the past couple of months. The unfortunate thing is that this election is shaping up to be another very tight and contentious race, which means we might not have clear answers about what direction the market will take for a week or two after election day on Tuesday. Hopefully I'll be proven wrong about that and we'll see uh, and maybe I'll have some more information for you next week. 
Anyway, I thank you for joining me this week for this weekly update. I hope it helps you understand a little bit of how your market is impacting, this market is impacting your options. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you can be informed about how this market continues to shape and what direction it does take as we move into the holiday season. If you have any specific questions about how you can navigate the stressful, confusing process of selling or buying a home, leave a comment down below or reach out to us directly. We're here to help guide you every step of the way. Have a safe weekend. I'll see you next week with a new update.